Today on spells, you'll need a straw in its wrapper, some different colored paper, safety scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, and a coin. Get ready to have some fun. Hi, welcome to Spells. I'm Bridget, and it looks like Jay's late again, so I guess we'll just... Uh... Hey, Bridge. Hey, Jay. Look at this. I got this in the mail this morning. What is it? I don't know, but considering today's show, it's called Box of Tricks. I bet you it's something tricky. Sounds logical. Wait, no, Jay. Instead of opening it, why don't we try and guess what's inside? Okay, sure. Oh, now I know my animals, Bridget, and I think that's either a horse or a penguin with a really bad cold. Uh, let's go with horse, but there's no way a horse could fit in there. <laughs> and there's no way a car could fit in there either. Whoa, now that sounds like a robot eating ice cream. <laughs> um, Ducks bowling. Yeah, Jay. It's a train. Jay. Yeah, it's time to start the show now. Oh, yeah, I'm right, sorry. Okay, let's make some magic. Here is how you do it. This is a great trick to do in a restaurant or a diner. There's a little bit of secret preparation, okay? Just using a pair of scissors and an ordinary wrapped straw, but the secret preparation's this. Tear off one of the ends, okay? You don't need that. And you push out the straw about two inches. And you're gonna hold the straw in your hand with your little pinky curled around it right there and now if I just hold the straw, it looks to all the world like it. I'm just holding the straw. Nobody realizes I've got oh, good, about a quarter of the straw hidden in my hand. I come over, I show the scissors, and when I cut, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to cut through the straw and the paper, but not just through the paper. So the straw actually ends there. So what I want to do is cut and have a little bit of the straw inside the cut too. Mm -hmm. I cut like that. That way, they see their straw in there. I bring the two together, the two little sides together. I grab that end. I'm gonna actually hold that end between thumb and finger, give a little wiggle, and the optical illusion of me apparently pulling off the paper, but what I actually do is pull the straw out of my hand. But the optical illusion of the paper just being pulled off. Crumple it up with a little piece of straw, throw that to the ground, or ideally in the closest waste bin. Grab the middle, pull that off, Put that down, and it looks exactly like you cut the straw right in the middle and perfectly restored it right in the middle. Good evening. Welcome to another installment of Boudini's Biography. Bridget? Jay, tonight, a very spooky magical box. Jay? Bridget, spooky, you say. Bridget? Jay, spooky, I say. Jay? Bridget? Jay. Bridget? In 1864 in London, the brothers Ira and William Davenport performed a strange magic trick called the Spirit Cabinet. The brothers had people from the audience securely tied into the chairs. Then the brothers were placed in their Spirit Cabinet and the door was closed and lights dimmed. From inside the cabinet, an eerie light could be seen. Music started to play. When the lights came up, musical instruments were scattered all over the floor, and when the doors were open, the brothers were unbound, all in less than a minute. Those handlebar mustaches and goatees, really quite something. Bridget? Jay. It was the style of the time. Jay? Really quite funny. <laughs> Actually. <laughs>
it is. Let me put it right back on there. There we go. Jay, are you kidding me? Like... No, no, that's, there's, there's really, look, there's really an invisible quarter there. Now, you may not believe me, so look, what I have to do is, is you can help me make the coin a lot more visible, all right? Okay. Fold up the paper, hold out your hand for me. Actually, your other hand. Mm -hmm. Put your other hand here, right line top. Here we go. There, did you feel it happen? Uh, no. Yeah, well, it's hard to hear something become visible, but look, 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 I want you to see here. I want you to see right here. Right here. This time, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to see my invisible coin. Told you it was there. Here is how you do it. You're gonna need a few things. You need two larger sheets of yellow paper and two smaller sheets of blue paper, though any colors will do. You're also gonna need some glue. You're gonna fold the yellow pieces of paper so that they're uh, three rows of three, okay? This kind of fold. And you wanna fold the other page so it's very much along the same kind of fold, okay? So both pages are very, very closely the same sort of folds. Then get some glue and put glue on the back of one page just on this center piece, okay? The center. Then you're gonna line them up as carefully as you can and press and really rub that. What that's gonna give you is two pages stuck together. Not on the edges, but just in the very middle. Okay. All right? Gonna take a piece of blue paper, fold that again, same kind of pattern, but because it's smaller, when you fold it up, of course, it's a smaller piece of blue paper, it's gonna fit very nicely inside one half like this. You'll be able to fold that up inside, fold this up inside. Now, I didn't put anything inside that blue piece of paper. Mm -hmm. But when I turn everything over, take this other piece of paper, I'm gonna put my coin in the middle of the blue piece of paper, okay? Fold that up. So now what I have are really two identical packets of paper. I start by opening this up. Opening this up and showing, of course, there's nothing inside here. You fold it up, fold this back up, and when the misdirections, when I say, would you hold out your hand for me? Actually, your other hand, and what I do over here is I just turn this over. Nobody's gonna suspect anything. You turn it over, put it in someone's hands, they put their hand on top. Always good to get them involved. <laughs> they shake, they open it up, or you should open it, actually. You open it up and you show that, of course, now, magically, a quarter has appeared inside. When you think about it, there are so many things you can do with the Buddha papers. You can make things vanish and appear. You can use so many different objects. You can use rubber bands. You could use a stamp. You could use a folded slip of paper. And also, I have a second set I've made up and I keep on me that I can switch for the others. And this second set can even be examined. Bridget, mm -hmm. what do you have for us today? Today I have some magic bookmarks. These are great, you can hand them out, out at your show that you're doing, or you can just keep them for yourself to mark the page in your book. So what you're going to need is some construction paper or cardboard, and just need to cut a thin piece rectangular, just like that. So it doesn't really matter the size, you know, you can actually use another bookmark to measure it if you'd like. Um, you can use any color, and then once you've done that, you can decorate, so why don't we use this one? I don't know, what do you want to put on, Jay? Um, I don't know, uh, why don't we put on, uh, stars seem to work rather well. True that. Let's put on some stars. All right, uh, why don't we use one of these? This is some, uh, laminating stuff you can get at any stationery store. You know, you use them for, um, book reports and stuff. Okay, good job. Peel that off and put it on, and that makes it look really professional, like, <laughs> So when you put the laminate on, you want to make sure to press from the middle out just so you make sure you get rid of all those air bubbles. 
Just smooth it down like that and you've got a magic bookmark. for joining us today. Bridget, I can't wait anymore. L let's look inside. All right. See, See you next, next time. time. See that card there? I need to, you to look at it and show the audience. Ready? I'm going to find special cards that are going to help me find yours. These four cards are not the card that Emily has chosen. The only reason I'm not covering the Joker's, this Joker's face is because, well, I think he's afraid of the dark. There you go. And now, your card was the Queen of Hearts.